Hi, welcome to a brand new coffee tech break session. Now, if you want to go really large, extra large room, your basis is also the G7500. Uh, so you can use multiple TC8s. You can use, if it's a fixed table, C60s uh, on the table. You can play with directors, not only one, but you can use uh, multiple directors uh, in the room. If your tables and uh, your setup is moving a lot, you can even use the uh, ceiling mics and uh, extend that even up to eight with sound structure. Uh, so there's a lot of possibilities here. And same list as you have with the Studio X family. Uh, so you got a lot of features to, uh, uh, to use in those uh, rooms. USB mode, uh, which I talked about earlier, is also available in the G7500. So just use your USB cable and extend speaker mic uh, and, and camera functionality to your laptop where you could run any video app. Now, let me take you to some of those requirements. Uh, so you can already start using it with your favorites. Uh, so if you got your favorites on your touch panel, you can already jump in. Uh, it will ask you for your uh, meeting ID uh, and you can start your meeting. In the basis, uh, that should be, uh, should be functional. Again, here you can also add one touchdown. Uh, which is already part of Real Connect, and you also have it available here uh, when you use it with Zoom. Now, same thing, uh, uh, like Real Connect, you need a license for Zoom, Zoom Room Connector. Uh, that's very important, and this will make sure that all those devices are able to dial into those Zoom meetings. Again, audio, video, and content bidirectional, uh, no problem. Eh? But you need to have this information in your invite. That is key. The SIP has to tree information. And that is that license, that room connector license, eh, which you need. Now, additionally, eh, so you can use favorite, eh, which I also have done uh, here. Uh, but you can also do the one touch down. So if you schedule a meeting, eh, it's able to parse through the one touch dial and show you that join button. Now, if we look at one touch down, eh, so this gives you the experience where you get your calendaring eh, and we just press a button as you showed you in uh, this case. Eh. One touch down is available as a free cloud service eh, and you can enable different services in there, different video provider services. Eh? So it's very powerful and there's new ones added at eh, any time. So because of this cloud service, eh, we can keep it uh, up to date. Now what's happening here is the one touch down service will make sure that the meeting, eh, if you scheduled a real connect uh, meeting, eh, so a Teams invite, if you schedule the Zoom meeting, that the join button and uh, will show up on an endpoint. And same here for Zoom. Uh, so make sure you got SIP through the tree information, and uh, that, uh, that is key. It will end up in the mailbox. The devices will pull that mailbox uh, and it will show you the join button. And here, as I showed you, you will have all the invites showing on the screen. Now, the next step you can take, if you got this all going, uh, and I would say, Test this first locally eh, through using the web UI of the G7500 eh, or the Studio X family by pointing to that uh, eh, to that one touch dial. Uh, but the next step is you can manage them centrally through Lens. And I will also show you that in the next Coffee Tech Break session, how you can push eh, that configuration to those devices. Lens is really powerful. It's a free platform eh, for now, and you're able to add all kinds of insights in the future. So how much is the room being used? Uh, how many people went to a meeting uh, which was scheduled or didn't attend? Uh, so there's a lot of insights which can be given. And it might be uh, that there are some premium uh, options in the future uh, which, you can, which you can add as a sort of subscription. So it will show you your inventory, uh, it will show you all the devices you have, if they're online, if they're offline. It can give you actions, uh, so which systems are offline, where you need to take action. Very powerful platform. Uh, and it started now with video endpoints. 
trio is in there huh? and and i will probably uh, show you that also in one of the next coffee tech rec sessions uh, with uh, with trio how to add that to uh, to lens and we soon expect also the headsets in there so i would say really get started with lens as soon as possible and eh? so you can get yeah some experience with that uh, with that platform